welcome to the universe of one. I'm going, going three style, style now. now. You'll, You'll see. Life has its way of taking its shots at you, but when you take your shots back, you gotta be ready. Step back. Get off your high horse. Yeah, you gotta sit down and humble yourself, son. Sit down and humble yourself, son. Life has its way of knocking you down. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up. Message for the whole wild world. Hate to sound like a wrestler, but it's well received. A universal one message. A message from the messengers of messengers of messengers. Oh. Recursiveness. This is the curse of Swiss cheese. The holiness. The universe. The whole universe. The hallowed universe theory. Hyperbolic. All of it. The growing, expanding, contracting, living, breathing. Organic. Life. Oh. The living universe. Yes. Obviously not a simulation. Right. My body electric, your body electric. It sounds like we're connected, everything's all connected. My, My mind and your mind and train and train and sync. It's all maintained in mind. Think about it, you can all harness and all. It's all Woo. family and it's yeah. step by step. Everything's Woo. electric and can be made to the brain. Everything's electric can be measured. Yeah. 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 Welcome to the Universal Ones. This is a video that I made from a while back, but it's this geometry that I do. I haven't really talked much about it yet on the uh, with this new cast of characters, <clears throat> but it's all made out of a toroid or a toroidal field. Um, I call it the Doherty set, but this is it right here and since we were talking about uh, I showed this to Don Scott and when he said uh, he identified it as Berkeley currents um, and this is uh, the his representation of a Berkeley current um, and after I showed him these images he said that it was as if you could see a, as if you were inside of a Berkeley current you could see all the intricate details of everything going on around you so this is all based off of the inverse square law um, and how toroids dilate off of center source systems. The center source is down here, and these are all um, emanations, uh, which uh, they're ultimately opposing spiral vortices. But we, According to this and according to a lot of the research that I've gone into, um, it's emergent. We are an emergent property of fractality. And inside of a system like this, where you have these nested waves and these harmonies nest and create hierarchical structures, and they're, they're centered by, of course, vortices, but it's spheroidal. So these spheroidal... Um, vortices and pressure units uh, are what reality is composed of between betwixt moments um, so it's kind of like you know it, I, I I shy away from the idea of a simulated universe and I get deeper into the idea of an acoustic universe it seems that light doesn't even exist and everything is made out of sound and this is would be like the idea of sonobiology and how the properties of everything seems to manifest out of harmonies of sound and uh, constructive and destructive wave interference that produces the right properties for, uh, for plasmoids and living organisms to exist in certain conditions, you know, because life can exist in many different sizes. There's different size humans um, throughout time. There's different size insects uh, throughout pressures and varying pressures. Um, so whoever's theory of whatever's going on has to include dynamism at the main core 
So the dynamism comes right directly out of the inverse square, the law of the inverse square, which is the square root of two emanating. Um, and that produces uh, phi inside of all of it, or uh, some say phi, some say phi. Um, but the entire structure auto, auto, automatically somehow uh, self-referentially produces um, out of golden ratio replications of golden ratio um, the living order of, of uh, what we call the fine structure constant why there is life instead of no life the fine structure constant comes out of the stacking of spheres in a proper order and an arrangement of spheres that allows for acoustics to uh, emanate outward, outward and thus create us out of that. Um, so you see these toroidal layers of them produce the harmonies and then it creates the substrate and it creates the vortexture of reality. Are those spheres toroids? All of it. It's both. Um, it's, it can be spheroidal and toroidal, um, but it's a, it's a certain network and it's a very simple stacking arrangement of spheres. Uh, dilating spheres that, are, that um, propagate outward. And if you're familiar with the um, the inverse square law, you'll see that this right here represents that and shows that the dynamism in the system comes right out of the fulcrum, like Walter Russell shows. But then there's something else, the space in between right here. When you start dissecting this space in between and see the plasmoids, all the plasmoids that I um, that I've d discovered and fundamentally came across exist along this uh, this fabric right here. Or uh, Eric Dollard, or not, not Eric Dollard, Ken Wheeler refers to it as the dielectric uh, the dielectric field, dielectric inertial plane, and so magnetism i never did understand that yeah it's 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 i know dielectric field strength like i know that but. um i think there's another dielectric inertial field that he so it compresses so it's it's a systolic pumping nature of uh you know and if you can just see at the beginning here there is actually a pumping nature to the heliosphere, so we know that, and we also see the pumping sort of action for the surface of sun stuff like that. There's a rotation plus uh, whatever, sort of a corkscrew pumping, I guess, would be best. So yeah, that Funny. was just just a couple ideas through my geometry. All right, that concludes our episode for today. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, if you want more, subscribe, like it, share it, hit the bell for notifications. That's how people get to see us and get to spread us around. Thank you very much and have a beautiful day. Don't forget, love is watching. Thank you for doing that. <laughs>